The Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project will be set up. They don't they urge, they don't they yarn, they give the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria will be Paula Ahmed Tinibu. Say making investigate the $1.5 billion loan with the 36 states, including the Federal Capital Territory will be FCT, then collect from the World Bank. The group now will be set up. They say the yarn they give our president. It's making touch light the alleged mismanagement of the Chinese loans of $3.121 billion with the federal government then carry. Don't be small matter, my good people. It's say our federal government then too like to carry loan. Now they will carry loan finish. They know we can do better thing for inside the country. Now Serap don't they yarn they give the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Say time don't reach you, we cannot begin the touch light this loan them and we cannot touch light them properly because no one has story that touches. They know why I say what I don't pass Gary because on top of this matter they go add more Gary. They know why I say should be a mama fly. You understand? The social economic rights and accountability project will be set up. They only ask our president. So we can direct the attorney general of the federation and minister of justice will be Latif Fagbemi and appropriate anti-corruption agencies so then sharply the touch light thoroughly may then investigate well how the loans now they did they spend them how how the 36 states including the fct did they spend all the loan with the collect from world bank and the chinese all this one emma good people we did for inside one open letter we cut the date 10th of august 2024 and this particular letter emma good people it is signed by the Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project, their deputy director, in name na Kola Wale Oluwadari. Set up now the yan. So any individual or agency with a suspect of corruption and mismanagement, suppose face prosecution kwanu as appropriate. Normally, person no could just go scot free. As far as say evidence day, and any proceed of corruption supposed to be fully recovered. And for inside this letter now, we set up the organize. They can advise the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, will be Paula Ametinebu. Simeki instruct the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission and the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission. Simeki then join body together, may then track and may then monitor the spending of the $1.5 billion loan we World Bank give the 36 states of a country, Nigeria, including Abuja. And if the Federal Republic of Nigeria Gofi accounts for the spending of the World Bank loan and Chinese loan them, it will build trust in democratic institutions with the ultimate aim of strengthening the rule of law. And as long as high-ranking public officials now, they go largely unpunished. That is, all those high-ranking officials now where they involve in magumago activity, where they involve in corruption. After that, they need to punish them for their crimes. Them that's not green light for more corruption because the impunity for corruption in management of World Bank loans and Chinese loans will still continue. And no be lie, if the federal government never fee account for the past mismanagement on how the states then they, they use the loan where they collect from World Bank. How they want to manage any present one so. But normally, am a good people. You know, say all these things now we set up the day yan. They want to make sure say our country Nigeria they get the capability or they get the capacity to pay back their loan. And they want to know very well exactly what our federal government they carry this loan now whether they collect from Chinese and World Bank to the two. May they know whether they will give them again or may they know whether they don't enter one chance as if you borrow money if the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Now, country people don't know the kind deal with the Federal Government strike with World Bank or the Chinese for the country collect or this kind of loot. But now only God now will help this our country. The Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project, the no fabric for Jao, the second Yan, say it is by pursuing these allegations they now and taking the evidence before the courts that the time where the truth could be revealed and justice will be served. And still for inside the letter, Serap Konde Yano, say as governors now that they enjoy immunity from arrest and prosecution. That is to say, as the fit arrest any governor, any current governor of any state, normally federal government, no go fit arrest them, no go fit prosecute them for any charge or whatsoever. It no me say then get immunity from investigation. 
That is, as they no fee arrest them for anything, no me say they no go fee investigate about their matter. Now, as they be governor of any state now, just they get your investigation. If they do any magumago, just they look them, just they just do the camps. Immediately they come out from the office. At that time, if you go grab them and set up consider yarn for inside their letter. Say based on the investigations now whether they carry out. Anything they find for that investigation, they feel use them as basics to initiate impeachment proceedings against the governor. The setup group cost the yarn they give President Bola Ahmed Tinibu. Say this in administration now, it gets legal responsibility to ensure accountability for the spending of the loans where they don't obtain, where they don't collect from World Bank and China. Setup that they very much concerned about the continuing lack of transparency and accountability in the management of World Bank loans and Chinese loans where the state and the federal government they don't collect. Then the group will be the social economic rights and accountability project. They constantly drop requests. Say the recommended measures, that is the things and things where they're supposed to do, must be taken within seven days of the receipt and or publication of this their letter so or else the group will be the social economic rights and accountability project they will consider appropriate legal actions we will make their government we will make the federal republic of nigeria they compelled with their request in the public interest because the prevention of corruption in the spending of world bank loans and other loans now serious legitimate public interest and it get legitimate public interest with they in ensuring justice and accountability for alleged corruption and mismanagement in the management of all these loans them. That is the yarn they give the federal government to make them take mismanagement, make them take corruption lightly. Make them not do them as if not just casual something, make them they serious and make them make sure they do the things and things we did necessary to account for how the 36 states, including the Federal Capital Territory, they spend all the money with they don't collect from World Bank and the Chinese. And no be lie at all, the thing that we set up, they just initiate so it makes sense where well, well. Because this federal government, so if person no follow them bomba to bomba, if any organization or any group no follow them bomba to bomba, I don't sure say they could correspond. So this initiative now, it makes sense. No be to the collect loan be the matter, how you take the user? With the things and things where he carried the loan they do, that not the important question, that not the cocoa of the matter. So these my good people now the informate way as make a share give the general public. Anyhow, the team be you for body, feel free to make a drop up inside our comment section. Now we be anointed lady TV. Now they give on our legit information on the things and things where they happen for inside our nation, Nigeria. So if you would like to receive legit news, try make you subscribe to this channel and try make you put on the notification bell so that as so they bring the news they come, then you go first get the updates and you go get them sharp sharp. And they bring another interesting information for you, my good people. I beg, no go anywhere.